Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about binary expression trees and the idea of this is can we represent a binary expression meaning for example an algebraic expression or a boolean expression through a tree? Can we do that? Well the answer is yes, we can do it through binary expression trees and they are types of binary trees used to represent expressions either they are algebraic or boolean. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Let's say I have an expression like this, this is an algebraic expression because we have very we have numbers, we have operators, and all these are read together in order to create this expression. Can we represent this expression through a tree and vice versa? Well, yes, we can do that. And after this lecture, you'll be able to do that. And here we have a Boolean expression that involves ands and ors and nots and trues and false. This too can be converted into a tree and vice versa. So let me give you an example on how we can turn this algebraic expression into a tree. So let's say we have this, which is x plus 5 divided by 3, the whole thing minus 3x plus 8. How can we turn this into a tree? Well, a simple rule is the leaves of the tree will contain the variables and the numbers, and the internal nodes will contain the operators. So these operators, this plus, this minus, this division, and this plus will be on the internal nodes, will be the parents, and all the children that are leaves that do not have anything attached to them will contain the variables and the numbers. So as you can see it here, we have two basic brackets. We have this 3x plus 8, this expression, minus this big expression, which is x plus 5, the whole thing divided by 3. So we can have a nod that has a right child that contains this expression and the left child containing this expression. So let's do that. Well, we'll create a knot having two children as vertices and the knot will represent the minus, this minus right here, because to the right of it, it contains 3x plus 8. We can turn this into a right subtree. So as you can see it, I have put the minus into this vertex. We'll start with the right subtree. As I mentioned, the right subtree contains 3x plus 8, it contains one variable, two numbers and one operator, which is this plus. This plus has to be on a vertex that is an internal vertex. So when I create the vertex, I'll put the plus on it and the vertices that are leaves, these ones, have to contain the eight and the three X. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll put the 3x on the left child and I'll put the 8 on the right child because here we have 3x plus 8. If it was 8 plus 3x, we would have the 8 in the position of the 3x and the 3x in the position of the 8. So now you can read this tree as 3x plus 8. That's how you read it. And you know that the whole expression of this subtree is minus some other expression that we haven't written yet. So let's do the left subtree. We know that we have x plus 5, the whole thing, divided by 3. Therefore, we have to have two subtrees that are connected by a vertex, which contains this division. The right subtree contains 3, and the left subtree will contain another sub subtree that contains x plus 5. So that's what we're going to do. We will create another subtree that is connected to here. And we will put the division, this division right here. And why we are going to do that? Well, because the right leaf of this subtree will contain the 3. And the left subleaf will contain this expression, which will be more divided into another subtree containing x plus 5. So we will put the 3 on the right subtree. And on the left subtree, since we have an operator, which is this plus, still we are not reaching the leaves yet that will allow us to put the 5 and the x. So here we have to put this plus sign right here. And we will create two more children or two more leaves that one of them the right one will contain 5 and the left one will contain x that's basically how you can turn an algebraic expression into a tree and you'll go from top to bottom as you can see it first we started with a knot that contains an operator to the right side of it is this algebraic expression to the left of it is this algebraic expression all the internal knots contain operators and the leaves contain variables and numbers. As you can see, it, all the leaves, this one contains x, this is 5, this is 3, this is 3, x, this is 8. However, the internal ones, those that have children and are not leaves, contain the operators. This is the plus, this is minus, and this is the plus. That's the whole idea of turning an algebraic expression into a tree. So what happens if I have the opposite? If I have the tree and I want to turn it into an expression? Well, you will start from the opposite. You will start from bottom to top. So here we know that we have x squared and 1. However, there has to be a plus in between them. So we will write that. We will have x squared plus 1. That's one expression. We know that this subtree or this expression is multiplied by a 2. We'll have a multiplication sign and then we have a 2. So when we read this, we have x squared plus 1 times 2. That's how you read it. And that's how you write it as an expression. We know that this whole thing, 
as we can see right here, this whole thing is divided by another expression, which is this one. And in order to write this one, you start from bottom to top. You'll write the x. We can see that x is added to 8. That's what we write, x added to 8. And that is the whole expression. So when you read this from bottom to top, you read it as x squared plus 1 times 2, the whole thing divided by x plus 2. Eight. That's how we can turn a tree that represents an algebraic expression into an algebraic expression like this. So now let's talk about a Boolean example. How can we turn a Boolean expression into a tree? Well, the idea is the same. Let's say we have this one, which is true or false, the whole thing and not false. How we can turn this one into a, a tree? Well, basically the leaves will contain the falses and the truths. So here we will start with this one. Everything to the right of the tree will contain the not false and everything to the left of it will contain true or false. So that's what we're going to do. We'll start with the and and then we will have the or. Then here it has to contain, the leaf has to contain a false. And then here we will have a false and a true or a true and a false. So as you can see it this is how we can represent this boolean example into a tree the way we read it we read from bottom to top we say true or false the whole thing and not false that's how we read it and i think it's very very intuitive how we can decompose a boolean expression or an algebraic expression into a tree so binary expression trees are a type of binary trees used to represent expressions either algebraic or boolean and with this we come to the end of this lecture